Hi, my name is Dr. Terry Jones, and this is the Braveheart Show. Today we are going to continue with our subject of Islam. As we all know, next Friday is September, September the 11th. At that time we are going to have a march in remembrance of the people who were murdered and killed by that violent, oppressive religion. We would like to invite you. We are located here in Gainesville, Florida. The march will take place at the Oaks Mall. We will meet there at 5 p.m. Come and join us. We will be remembering those people who were murdered by this violent and oppressive religion. We have been dealing with this subject for the last several weeks. As we get into the subject more and more, we, we begin to get the revelation. We begin more and more to get the knowledge that indeed it is a very, very oppressive religion. It is a religion that is beginning to, to take over. In fact, the word Islam itself means to submit. We see parts of Europe, and in fact we see most of Europe, and we see great many changes in England. We see that where, where Islam is beginning to move into the laws, into, into their legal system, how it is beginning to, to take over. We see that in the Netherlands, it is against the law to insult or to criticize Islam. I mean, I mean that alone should be enough to wake us up. So some religion, some organization that is able to steal our freedom of speech, that, that, that should alarm us. We should, we should be warned as we look at the countries where this religion dominates. As we look at a country who is supposedly our friends, Saudi Arabia. Well, we, we see right there, we see a country that if we go there as Dub World Outreach Center, as we go there as Christians and preach the gospel, we will be put to death. Tell me, tell me, is that a religion uh, of peace? If that is how they govern and dominate in their own country, do you truly believe it would be any different if, if, if they begin to control, govern, and dominate in the United States? The Saudi royal family appointed a clergyman to the mosque and then that clergyman was in London. He was speaking at the mosque that was to be built there. It was a fundraising event. And he talked about the Jews. And I quote what he says. He says, the Jews, the worst of mankind, scum of the earth, monkeys and pigs. Now, now how could anyone in his right mind, think that is right and correct. How can anyone think that that is a religion of, of freedom, a, a, religion, a religion of peace? We need to, in America, we, we, need, we need to wake up. We need, we need to learn from Europe. Now, not from their social system, not from their health care plan, not from their culture, we, we need to look at what has happened there. What has happened in England? Well, what has happened in Germany? As Germany proclaims itself, the German government says, in a few years, we will become a Muslim state. We need, we need to take that to heart. While we still right now have a chance to stop it. We are allowing things in America that we should not allow. They have even started training camps in, in our country. St training terrorists, tra training them how to kill people, how to bomb buildings, how, how to murder, murder innocent, innocent people. They're starting training camps in, in Red House, Virginia, in Commerce, Georgia, in, in Hancock, New York. It, it is time for us to exercise our freedom in America and we need, we need to stand up. 
We need, we need to move out of our cowardness. Well, well, we as a people, we are the number one nation in the world, strongest, richest in the world. Well, we were founded by pioneers. Our nature is not one of cowardness. Our nature is not one of pulling back. Our nature is and has been always a nature of accepting the challenge, be being hungry for the challenge. Exactly the type of people who are told they cannot do it, that gives us even more determination. But well, what has happened to our churches? What has happened, what has happened to the world as, as, as we let these terrorist bullies uh, take over, murder, and kill people? Well, well one, of the, one of the head clergymen, the, the, the one who is credited, or his group, with the beheading of Daniel Pearl, he, he says, and, and we, we see this is how they act in America. They, they, they are in the minority. So, so they act in America very nice and kind and friendly and tolerant, tolerant. Do they act as though they are, they are somehow the victims? This is a quote from what he said. This is what he said all good Muslims should, should do. Act like you are their friends. Is that not, not how they act? Act like you are their friends. And then kill them. Just like in the book. I mean, I mean if, if, that's not, if that's not almost a, a prophetic statement. If we, if, we do, if we do not even see that taking place now. So, so, so we must act. We must stand up. We, we, must, we must, as Christians, we must come, come back to the Bible. Even the t-shirts that we have, even the sign that we have in front of our church says, Islam is of the devil on the back. On the front it says what Jesus said. He is the only way. People have said many things to that t-shirt. That they have said, yeah, does that, does that really help? Does that really bring people to Jesus? Is that really the right way? That, that is actually not the question. Those are all humanistic, cowardly questions. The question is, is it true? The, the actual question is, is it truth? The United States, Christianity, is, 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 is a nation, is a religion, is a relationship with God that stands for truth. Yes, it is true. We must turn, re, return to Revelations 12, 11. It tells us there how to overcome. It tells us there how to overcome Islam, how to overcome the devil, how to overcome sin, how to overcome our weaknesses, how to win in society. Because we overcome by the blood of the Lamb, not, 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 not by the blood of Islam. Is, Islam and its prophets did not give their blood for the people. They are the cause of shedding blood. It says there that Jesus, by the blood of the Lamb, we overcome. By the word of their testimony. In other words, we have to stand up. Not the hiding behind religious excuses. Yeah, what about this? What about this? You could have done that. Why didn't you do it that way? No, we have, we have to stand up. We, we, have, we have to give a testimony. We have to point people in the right direction. And then the Bible says that we do not love our life even when faced with death. That that's how victory was won. That that's how wars were won. That is how freedom was won. People, groups, organizations who were willing but to, to put their life on the line. We must return to that. We, 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 must, we must return to that. Be willing as churches, as, as individuals, to open our mouth, to stand for righteousness, to put our life on the line. Thank you.